Chris from TechTablets.com here with the Honda V919 Air 3G. Just looking a little bit more in detail of Windows 8 running on this tablet. So overall, the, my opinions are that uh, it does run quite fast. Uh, it is very smooth. The eMMC solid state drive that is on board uh, is quite quick from the testing I've done. You get about 160 megabytes read and 80 write, which is... Uh, is more to the higher end when it comes to EMMC drives uh, getting around in Windows I've had no real issues there but I have had a few connectivity issues when it comes to to using the internet now and then I've just noticed that that maybe it's conflicting with my wireless router that I have had limited connections sometimes and it has been a little bit slow but only under Windows and Android it seems to run quite well so I'll just go to website here, quickly look at CNN. And I've never visited it before, so let's see how long it takes to load. It's not too bad, uh, and it's, it is smooth. Internet Explorer in Metro mode does seem to be one of the best. So there's no real problems there at the moment it seems to be running fine I did have a couple of issues with my SD card that it would read it and work fine and suddenly stop working and I would need to reboot the system it would have a hardware read error on my memory card which is a, uh, a Sony Evo 64 gigabyte and I'm not too sure whether that's down to the Windows ROM but there's some video there running in Internet Explorer has no problems and the captive button does work which is a nice little bonus not all tablets have that so that is it's quite a nice little addition there and now it does come with Office you do have an Office license I think of six months desktop getting around is just the same as all the other Chinese tablets with this uh, screen with the Apple Retina screen. No problems there. Running Metro apps, everything is good. This is just a PDF viewer. It's quite fast. Uh, and for some reason I've been trying to download on Windows... Oh, there we go. Asphalt 8. I've been trying to download that on the Windows Store and it hasn't worked for some reason. I'm not sure too sure why that is, but I've been having trouble with Windows Store. Might be related to the internet connection. Limited connection issues I've been having. I need to look at that a little bit more in detail, but uh, seems to be when I'm trying to install these games, there's been these issues. Otherwise I would show you uh, a game, but once I can finally install Ashfeld 8 here, I will compare this to the Techlast X98 Air. So please do subscribe if you're interested in that. So when the video does pop up, you'll see it. So overall, the tablet itself, the build quality is good. Uh, it's quite nice. Uh, the, the panel at the top here, of course, houses the SIM card and micro SD. And it is a little bit of annoyance to me at least, that if I did want to swap out a micro SD card then I need to remove this, but this also houses the antennas so in doing so you lose either 3G or wireless uh, signal because the antenna is actually built into this plastic so you can see there there's the connectors that connect to the back of that if the camera will focus, there we go and you're your SD, micro SD is right here. So removing and replacing that uh, could affect, if you're downloading something, well, you'll probably have to start the download again. And it's a little bit flimsy. Not the best setup really, and there's no HDMI port. And the speakers on the bottom are reasonable in Windows. The loudness is not actually that loud. It's not really that wonderful. I will quickly show you in YouTube. Okay, that 
double click the Y for some reason. So I'll just do a bit of YouTube here and show you the speaker volume. So the speaker volume actually in Windows was probably a little bit louder than in Android, I don't know why, but it's obviously a configuration setup, something to do with how Android's set up and maybe the drivers, the Realtek drivers on Windows, it's going to be slightly louder, but that is actually a mono speaker inside there, I discovered, I found some internal shots off this tablet, and there are not actually two speakers there, although there's two speaker grills, there's only one speaker in there. So that's just a quick look at Windows. Once I can get some Metro games installed, I will run them. And I'll show you what the gaming is like, and we'll compare this also against uh, the rival tablet, dual boot tablet, which is the TechLast X98 Air 3G. So thanks for watching this video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up, and see you soon.